I'm here with a new ear wrapping tutorial. So up here in the Northern Hemisphere, the weather is starting to get a little rough. It's getting wetter, the snow is coming, and I've noticed on my own dogs that their ears are taking the toll. When I get home, either from just being away for the day or I've been traveling a lot and I get home, I just notice the ears aren't in very pristine condition at all and there's a lot more wetness under the wrap. So hi, all that, my students down in Australia and New Zealand. Um, you know, you might need to watch this in a few months, but for right now, this is what I am doing to keep my ears more protected as the weather gets worse. Of course, doing this tutorial, I have noticed that the ear wrappers are heavier because we're using more paper towel and more rubber bands. If you have a dog that is sensitive to how heavy their ear wraps are or they're not quite used to the weight of the wrapper, then maybe hold off on trying this or just trying part of it or just make sure that you're home for the first couple days to make sure that they are leaving that wrapper alone because it is a little bit bulkier than I typically like. So here we go. Okay, so here we are and Swanky has been all bathed and dried and she is uh, ready to go and to have her ears um, wrapped. Now, like I said, we are having a bit of a problem. The weather here is pretty nasty, gets wet, and the, her ears are just getting wet under the wrappers, which is making me have to dry them every day. I'm just getting that out of my way so I can show you. So. Um, I've had to come up with a new way to wrap her ears. You can see that she has really kind of done a bit of a number on them. So we're going to work at making them beautiful. So the first thing that I do uh, is that instead uh, of having a small piece of paper towel under the ear, I need to keep that ear drier. Um, the ear is completely dry and combed out. So I'm gonna use like this much paper towel. So actually quite a bit. So remember that it's gonna make the finished product a little bit heavier and your dog might not like that. So just really pay attention in the beginning, especially if your dog is sensitive to their ear wrappers, all right? So the technique is the same. Um, so if you have my ultimate guide to top knots where it shows you how to wrap the ears, the technique is the same. It's just with a little bit more product uh, going into it. So again, I'm going to feel for the end of that ear leather with my fingers and I'm pinching on it. And then I'm going to wrap this entire piece of paper towel all the way around the ear nice and neatly. Um, you know, it's pretty tight there. Like, you know, I'm trying to keep it bunched together to, so that your wrapper doesn't get super bulky. And then I'm using a regular sized wrap like I always do. And again, same technique as in Ultimate Guide. And this is just gonna go straight over that piece of paper towel. And again, I'm pinching it quite hard to keep everything nice and neat. Then I go up in half, up in half again. So, you know, using the full piece of paper towel is the first place that I've made a change. So now the second place I've, I've made a change is here. And what I'm gonna do, so using two rubber bands at the same time, which is how I always do ear wrappers, as close to the top as I can, I am gonna go around three times, and then I'm gonna use two rubber bands again at the same time. I'm gonna go, instead of at the bottom, like I do in my regular tutorial, I'm gonna go about the middle, again, three times. And then one last time, using three, two rubber bands at the same time, I'm going to put a third section closer to the bottom and again going around three times. So instead of my typical two sets of rubber bands, I've had three. So that's going to hopefully keep that in place and hold that extra bulk right into that ear wrapper. Um, again, as always, I am going to check that the ear leather is not being impinged by that wrapper. And there we go. So that's kind of my winter rainy weather ear wrap. And it has made a big difference. Uh, her ears are staying a lot drier. The ear wrapper is staying in longer. She is really, really hard on her ears. You know, she's a tomboy. She doesn't take it easy. Her head is in everything. Like there's always some kind of branch stuck in her top knot. So I can't even imagine what her ears go through when I'm not paying attention. And I've been doing this for about a month now and it has made a big difference. So I hope you try it. Um, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a single episode. Um, join us at Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. You know, you can get any of our courses. You can actually get our entire school, every single course we have, every single course we have coming up. And we have some really exciting courses coming up. Uh, so yeah, head on over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com and we'll see you there.
Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give us a like, and if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to our channel below. Also, check out leadingedgedogshowacademy.com for our premium content. We had a lot of fun bringing you all this information. See you soon. Bye.